All right, ITSE Standard 5, Professional Learning Facilitator. Coaches plan and evaluate the impact of professional learning for educators and leaders to use technology to advance teaching and learning. Um, 5A, um, design professional learning based on needs assessment and frameworks for working with adults to support their cultural, social, emotional, and learning needs. Um, okay, so this one um, was one I had the opportunity to this year do. Um, our administration asked um, for volunteers to do some e-haul um, pass presentation. Um, what e-haul pass is, it's a um, pass system used in the building to give students passes to go to the restroom, or the nurse's office, to visit another teacher or whatever. Um, but this year with the health department's regulations, um, we really needed to track in a, in a school the size of Olathe um, or a district the size of Olathe, be able to track um, where students were at any given time um, in the halls uh, to track to, for contact tracing and all that with COVID. So with that, we decided um, to adopt the um, e-hall pass. Um, the data that we collect there with e-hall pass then is used for when a student has COVID or is has symptomatic of COVID to see what students or possibly other students were around them or where they were at in the building. Um, definitely that was a big need um, for the district um, and for the building. So this was a very important um, training. So what I had the opportunity to do is my, my group, my cohort um, for my engineering academy, I had the opportunity to do the training for them. First, I received the training and then from there, I was able to present that training to them as a smaller group. Um, the way that this meets the needs, um, definitely, I, I think it's, it's there. It's one that was very, very much so needed. Um, and, and, and it was definitely, um, something that helped out the instructors there in the building. Um, tell me grow professionally. I think this one is one that's just, just that thing of me having to teach my fellow instructors. It's something that I'm not, I don't love. If I'm on here talking about CAD and my videos I do for CAD, I, I'm very, um, I think fluent with those, uh, because it's something I really know and know very well. You know, and just that little bit more training and a little bit more um, ability to do this a little bit more often, I think um, it's going to get nothing but better for that. Um, all right. Um, there's this document and there's another that goes with the actual presentation. Um, it's also going to be included as an artifact. 5C states, evaluate the impact of professional learning and continually make improvements in order to meet the school-wide vision for using technology for high impact teaching and learning. Um, in this um, artifact, we were to read the uh, chapter two of one of the books for the um, class, and then um, a few articles. Um, everything in here was, was really important, but um, the second article talked a lot about PLCs and talked about how those PLCs um, really are just, just the thing that makes, makes a, um, makes a group um, so much stronger and so much better. Um, those professional learning communities um, are the living communities and lively um, cultures dedicated to improve the lifelong learning of students and adults. It just really talks about that a lot in that article or talked about that a lot in that article and definitely um, helped, helped me realize how important that is. Um, I've always known that at there of Latham Northwest, we have some really strong PLCs and especially, I feel my group. Uh, my group of teachers were so close, and we we are there to help each other out and to work through any problems we have, and and just learn from those professional learning communities, sharing what we know with each other. Um, it really helps the whole vision for the school um, by by doing this, and it definitely helps me um, for the future uh, of seeing the importance of those professional learning communities and and how I need to to foster those um, anywhere that I might um, be in the future.